Hallo, hallo. Oh, hier op de ring. Dit is Zar. On my dirt road. <laughs> There is traffic. There is traffic on the dirt road. We need to change this. Do you know why there's so much traffic? Well, we'll get into that. We're going to do some... Um, something different today. Well, we're going to continue building on this city. Uh, we have lots of things to talk about. Lots of things to explore. Um, let's uh, speed this down for a second, shall we? Okay, there we go. Huh. <sighs> right. A lot of uh, a lot of people moving in. Um, let's say you guys like the um, or the feedback I got anyway in the previous episode. The uh, speed part, the sped up building. We're going to do some of that today as well. Man, it's noisy here. Did I? No. Did I turn sounds? No, should be. Let me just cut for a second and check uh, how this volume thing works. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Volume is okay. So, uh, this city is pretty much a disaster. We need to fix this up today. Whoa, trees. What? Really? That's 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 just weird. Um, lots of problems here. They don't have any health care. They don't even have a city hall. No police, really. Uh, actually, no police at all. A terrible road down here. We have to fix that. And nothing really works. So, but we have a solution to it all. Um, I've been working on something next to here in the horizon. We can't see it from here, really. But if you have a look over here. Let's see, in the, no, it's not such, there we go, region view. Over here is another city, this is Trinity Point, we're going to rename it. If you have suggestions for both of these places, I'll happily take them. Um, we'll load in there. And uh, this city is, uh, there's three, three potential cities in the region. Uh, for this let's play, we're going to primarily focus on the one that we've been looking at now. Sorry for the loading images, by the way. Uh, but Trinity Point, which it is called, is a city that I will be playing a little bit while not recording. Primarily. Let me just skip the rest of the loading screen here. I was waiting for an hour in queue to get in today. <laughs> well, there's a lot of rant videos around the internet. Uh, about this and there's a lot of posting about it and uh, they all say it better and harsher than I can on this in these videos so I recommend you do your homework before you buy this game honestly uh, I'll, uh, I'll try to reconnect again afterwards and then see how it goes ah we are back valuable time has elapsed out of my Sunday EA I hope you are happy. Um, yeah, so this, and uh, yeah, I've I've been I've been working <laughs> on this city. Um, we're not going to go into so much detail on this. I have expanded a little bit here. Like this city is focused on housing. There is no industry here. The reason I've done that is because I want to ship all these workers off to the other city, the Let's Play city. Um, have them commute basically that's why there's so much traffic there's even a train station there so we need to build a train station on the other one too set up some buses some regional buses and stuff so that they can travel back and forth um, and uh, yeah that's that's what we're doing here so this city has education it has health care or health uh, like uh, hospitals and stuff it's completely clean it has no industry it only has housing and a little bit of commercial districts uh, and it's running pretty well uh, it doesn't have a lot of jobs though it, it lacks jobs severely but we're going to change that today and we're going to build that up in the other place but one thing that is very interesting um, uh, one of the complaints from many people about uh, the new sim city versus the old one is there's very small zones very small cities yeah there is um, 
I'm not sure whether I'm like I'm initially I would like a bigger city of course but on the other hand like uh, and it's like one one thing that always happened to me in the old SimCity games was like everything just became the same pattern over and 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 of course you don't have to do that but that's tend to happen with this version of the game you are sort of allowed to focus more on on the details and I, I kind of like that uh, but another thing that helps do that is because I own both of these places since this is my region um, you can play on the region with other players but I still have one over here that I can claim and, and do this because it's a private game so I can do that uh, but what I can do here now for instance oop, message mm. what I can do here now and that, that I have done is that you can see if I choose down here on the police for instance you can see that I'm sending five police cars to this city they're volunteering there um, and the same thing with uh, with health I believe yeah I'm also sending uh, well one ambulance so we need to expand on that uh, the other way around um, I'm sending electricity occasionally from this city over to this one because this only has a little bit of uh, wind power while as over here I have coal and and uh, the thing with these services, it actually pays off quite well because you don't actually, like you're volunteering them and you get money from from this city as like a reward, as far as I understand it. But this city, like since I also own this one, I don't actually pay myself any money. So I'm actually just earning money on volunteering them cross city, if you get my draft. Um, so that's a kind of cool set concept, and I'm going to continue on doing that. I'm not sure what to focus this third city on. Probably some gambling and electronics or whatnot, uh, or culture, or I don't know. This is going to be like pure housing and, and nice place to live, while this is going to be the complete opposite, our Let's Play series, or our Let's Play city. So let's head over there and, uh, and continue building on it. Two hours later in real life, we are finally back on here. Goddamn servers. Okay. So, uh, fixing things up. Let's see. First things we need to fix up. Um, and uh, I was talking to a guy whose name consisted of a lot of letters in the comments on the previous video, so I can't remember it <laughs> letter by letter. I'm sorry. Uh, but he had the same issue as me, and he also reminded me that this guy here that we bought close by Mayer. Anyways, it, it's full of ore. We can't do anything because it's full of ore. In order to fix that, we need a trade depot to ship it off somewhere. And, and he, he had problems with the fact that his trade depot is full too. That I'm not sure how to fix. Not at all. But we'll give it a try. First, I just want to see that I don't overlap any of the ores. Uh, which we should be able to do by going here and here and here and here and here and clicking on or map and that's there so I could put it here about yeah um, trading trade depot 10,000 import export and store resources like coal and crude oil with this basic unit also accepts freight shipments for industry additional trade depots attract more trucks from the global market does not require power or water to function uh, the other thing here, though, call, what is this? Um, I need a bunch of storage lots, and this allows me to do what? Amass a fortune as an import slash export master. Buy from the global market at low prices and sell when you can make the most simloins. Make profit from the global market to expand it. Well, okay. The last thing is trade port. Well, we don't need that. So I'm not sure. He said that this didn't work for him. Um, simply having this did nothing nothing so we're going to expand the road here slightly but be careful not to um, not to oh, straighten it out not to spend all our money on it Let's see that should leave us with some still and a little street across here 
just so we can plop down a little bit more of this. We're going to do a lot of this in uh, in high speed later on. But just for now, let's plop down the trade depot, see how it goes. We can put that, it can expand in all sorts of directions though. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe I want to put it there, just in case, I'll do that. Okay now, what can we do here? We can expand, whoa, holy moly, there was a bunch of things you could get there. So I could, first of all, I can have more freight truck garages. I can have freight shipping warehouse. Accepts freight shipments from local industry. Warehouses. Coal storage lot. I probably need one of those. Crude oil storage lot. A raw ore storage lot. So those are all storage lots. This is just a sign. Does nothing, I think. Yeah. And here we have metal storage lot, alloy storage lot, fuel storage lot, plastic. Processors, computers, and uh, TVs. So all these things we can expand with. I'm not sure if they actually sell it to anywhere. Manage global market deliveries. We must add the storage loss to trade resources. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop down a city hall somewhere because we need a city hall where do we put it that's the question we're going to remove this road and put it here there we go sit e hall because we can't put it here anymore where it used to be where's the city hall uh, there. Oh, right. Uh, that will prevent me from building things in the back of it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I can't really. I shouldn't have it here either. Okay, let me just gather up some money and we'll be right back. You know what? We're just gonna put the city hall down here. That's where it's going to be, in the middle of nowhere. If this road is big enough, this is where we need the city hall. There. Plop it down there. Because I expect that we need to, at some point, um, expand... Well, this is a stupid place to put the city hall. It affects nothing. But that doesn't really matter, because we're not going to have a lot of people living here. They're all going to come from out of town. We just need... There we go. Can I not... Oh, I can't, I can't build any additions on it until I have 5,000 residents. No, that's not right. More than that. Or oh, less than that. I mean, 2,500, I think it is. I have 700 something. That's the problem, though. I need residents to upgrade the city hall, which is kind of, that kind of sucks. Um, let us see. We can add this thing. We can add. Uh, an ore storage lot. Where was that? Raw ore. That's all I got. At the moment, so we'll put one of those back here. Now, manage global market deliveries. What can I do here? Raw ore in lots. The selected resource will be kept for your own use. Import, export, per Okay, sweet. This one, the selected resource is being exported. Yes. Um. So it sounds like that should be exported when this one produces. Can we turn this back on? Thank you. Start up. Need water. There is water. It needs a lot of water though, that's that's true. But I did plunk down a bunch of water towers. 
for that specific use. Okay, it's hiring now. Skipping ahead a bit. Hmm. It was closed there for a while, but now it's delivering it over to the other place, it, it would appear. Two and a half tons per day. There we go, there we go. Delivered 20 tons of raw ore today. Okay, so it's working. We have workers. So I have like one delivery truck. No, actually I actually have four delivery trucks here. We can add more. No, I have added all of them. Yeah, okay. I thought this would just send it to the global market itself when I built it. Uh, let's head over here. Have a look. Uh, storage, 20 out of 20 tons. Fright. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it disappeared! It disappeared! We now have only 10 out of 20 tons. Manage global market deliveries. Excellent! So we get 5,833 per 10 tons, I presume. And I generate a lot. Did you see how, the, how that just popped up? But uh, we need some more transport vehicles on this. Because this is not going fast enough. Let's see, I, in, well, I can have three storage lots for each city. And I have what, it, what? What? What will I export from here? It will be crude oil. It will also be raw ore and coal. Although, why do I have one of these? Although, why do I? Why do I... Uh, let's see. This is processed metal. This is processed metal. This is processed oil. Processed oil, presumably. Technology. Compute. Alt technology. And technology. Hmm. But we can always... I... Maybe. Let's see. Can I delete the add-on? No. Only the whole thing. Huh. Because industry in this city, after a while, will start to, to process it into alloys, for example. So I don't want to add any more lots for that specifically just now. However, I will add some more trucks to it. Actually, a whole bunch of them. So... I can have one here. A garage. Just so I can deliver more, get rid of the, the stuff we have faster, and then we'll see what the industry decides to to um, build after a while, and then we'll add storage slots for that, because we need a couple of more for the other stuff too. There we go, maximum amount of trucks, and uh, we have four trucks on the other ones, that should deliver here pretty quickly. And uh, so it doesn't seem to be a problem. It seems to work nicely and it seems to earn us a lot of money. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sit here and wait a bit. Hopefully not fall asleep like in the last episode. Uh, save up some money and then we'll do some speed building, expanding the city. Hang on for that. <laughs> Look how many criminals we got. Uh, should probably pop down that view tower thing as well. Like I was reading about that here, uh, the view tower increases tech level of nearby industrial buildings. So I should probably put that somewhere alongside uh, or alongside a bunch of industry, um, which I wasn't originally planning to do. I was I wanted to put everything down here. The other thing that I can now build as well is uh, Metals HQ. That doesn't seem to do anything specific though, so we'll probably pop that down in this general area here. Actually, we can do that now. Uh, let's expand the road a little bit, I think. 
all of those kind of administrative buildings we're going to put down here. Actually, let's... Uh, eh, controls. Let's just have a quick look at the oil map here so I don't like overlap too much. Mm. Oil. There we go. Uh, there. Oh yeah, they were, um, we're already overlapping a little bit. We could sneak a road towards there, a little curve. Let's do that. Towards this general area. No! I have to look at the map again. <laughs> okay, here. Hereabouts. Roads... High density one. Sneak it over here. And I think I'll also be able to, to get one to go up in this general direction. It's going to overlap a little bit, but I need I need a road. There. <laughs> it's a weird road. If I ever saw one. Hey. That's... it's not right. Come on. Stop, stop, stop being, uh... Stop being annoying. Straight one, straight one. Oh, it's gonna be expensive. Let's put it there for now. I'm going to expand on this in the quick build, but uh, we need a... a fast road up here. So, uh, let's see, what can we do in the... Oh yeah, we wanted to put that building down. Let's have a look at the map again. Where can we place it? Here. Here's here's a nice place to put it. Let's so do that. Metals HQ. Oh, it's pretty big. We'll put it here, though. Cool. Coolness. It's going to be in the middle of a bunch of oil wells and stuff here. <laughs> uh, what can we do here? There's a the leaderboards. They've closed hiring. We can expand it with... Oh! Commerce division? Trade port, coal and raw ore storage slots at the trade port. Well, we have that already. We have a... I have that on, a, on another city, I think, that allow, uh, unlocks those things. Like the trade port and those things. So we can have commerce division, engineering division, and smelting division. Uh, local access granted smelting factory. That, we need that. Local access granted advanced coal mine. We need that too. And this is all the regional access. So we're going to, we're going to pop these down. <laughs> we need a lot of money. So that will be after we start making some money. And this road, I'd rather get rid of sooner than later. Uh, but we need to grow some money back again, and it, it's making a lot of money, this thing. Now, the next clip you see will be talking about the road infrastructure here that we already discussed. Uh, fixing up some things, adding a train station so that commuters can get here, and generally zoning a lot of industrial where we need it. That's the plan. I'll see you there.
Um, a lot went on there. Uh, didn't show you all of it, but essentially, as you might have noticed if you watched the numbers as well, we had some budget problems. <laughs> also, we had comets. We had disasters. Um, that should be taken care of. I've expanded the fire department a little, so we have also have fire trucks coming in from that other city. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, need to bulldoze a little here and there, but no, uh, no big deal. A little bit of problems with workers coming in, uh, or not coming in rather. Uh, that I didn't exactly expect. Um, I thought that they would come from the other city. Apparently not so much. I don't know exactly why that was. But we did get a bunch of, of uh, taller buildings because of it. So we expanded the, or the residential part of the city as well. So let's see. Over here, we can't really build anything because it's radioactive. That's probably because of the coal under here. It's burnt down. All those. But the infrastructure is starting to look like what I wanted. With cars and everything. And we're starting to squeeze more people into the block, so I don't need to build a whole lot larger area. I've upgraded the roads a little bit, so that they can grow taller buildings. And uh, we have removed this piece of road here. I'm not sure exactly what to do here. I need it in order for the water to be pumped around, but... Um, I didn't want them to be able to use this small road to get up here because it's shorter, so they all drive that way and create chaos. Because on the main road here we have these, uh, yeah, what's it called? Mm, Streetcars. They take away a lot of it, and we also have bus stops. So economy has turned around. The majority of our income is from from this place here. I mean, now we have almost 20,000 population. We have a ton of factories, but they don't bring in really that much. Compared to our expenses, we're just barely in plus from that. Uh, but this guy brings in a lot. And um, the fright that the factories produce also brings in a lot. So in the next episode, because we don't have time for more this time, in the next episode, 
It's going to be a lot of management, I'm, I'm presuming. I'm going to look into better sales, more of these. Maybe we get around to um, to making... Uh, you, you'll notice I've left a large chunk of the area in the middle here open. Also down here, that's because that's where all those natural resource collection things are going. Uh, also, um, we want this one to... That's probably one of the first things we're going to do. Try to extract as much metal so that we can... Uh, or sell so much metals that we can get a daily profit of 160,000? <laughs> or no, that can't be right. I don't know. Total, maybe. So we can upgrade it, and then we can get the smelting division. That I'm looking forward to, because then we can start to produce some alloys and things. But, we're running out of time. I'll see you guys for the next one, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, don't buy the game yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not just yet. Let's wait and see. Take care. Bye-bye.